Hello, my fellow blessed one. I greet you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I hope this vlog reaches you in good health. If not, we trust in the Lord to heal you. Amen. Hello, guys. Welcome back to Chim's Cuisine. Here I'm going to show you how to make a healthy doner kebab that you can make in your own kitchen. You will need two large trays of minced beef. Um, depending on how many people you're feeding, you can just use one tray, um, but for me I was feeding quite a lot of people, so I went for two trays. Now it's time to season our minced meat. In the bowl I have garlic, all-purpose seasoning, red onions and parsley. Now that we've mixed that all together, it's time to add the minced meat to the blender. Now, <laughs> the strangest thing is, after I got all the meat into the blender, the blender decided to stop working, so I had to now result in trying to mould everything together using my hands. It's not the best, but you make do with what you've got. <laughs> Once I've moulded the meat into a sort of log shape, I then get foil and wrap, seal the meat. I then use my wired skewers to poke a hole through them so that when, when it is cooking, once it's cooked, it's easy for me to lift it out of the pan. Now, because my blender broke <laughs> and I wasn't able to blend the meat fi as fine as I wanted it to, um, you can see I'm having a bit of trouble cutting the meat. It's still fine, but um, I'm just not getting that, you know, smooth cut just because the meat isn't as fine as I would have wanted it to be. Now, the difference here, obviously, when you go to a normal kebab, kebab um, restaurant or shop, you normally see that the meat is constantly on rotation cooking. As we're doing this at home, I would advise that you just keep tur um, turning the meat. Sort of like when you cook your roast dinner or your roast chicken, you flip it over to, to make sure that it cooks evenly on both sides. Rather than spending loads of money on a takeaway, we've decided to make our own doner kebab. And of course, we want this to taste even better than a regular doner kebab. <laughs> So um, what I'm doing now is the slices that we cut up earlier, I'm just pan searing them just so we can get that crispy texture on the outside of the meat. Let's now put everything together. So I've started, I've got a, um, a wholemeal pita bread. It's just, this is just personal preference. You can go for um, the white pita bread, but I prefer wholemeal, um, just personal preference really. And then yeah, now we can just start filling in our pita bread. I tend to put the sauce first, then the meat. You know, this is personal preference as well of how much meat you want inside. Then the salad, then your onions and spring onions, and then finish off with a bit of sauce on top. Some people don't like a lot of sauce, but um, I'm more of a type where I do like to cover my pita bread in sauce. <laughs> and there you have it your homemade donna kebab and the wonderful thing about this is that you will even have a lot of meat left over which you can then use for a stir fry or maybe even some homemade sandwiches um it's just it's a money it's a money saver you can't go wrong with it homemade kebab please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and leave your post notifications on for my next video thank you